This is a demonstration of the NetScan Tools SMB scanner. As you know, SMB is a protocol for sharing information between Windows computers and other types of computers. Certain types of SMB have vulnerabilities, especially SMB version 1. So you'd rather not be running that version. First thing you have to do is create a target list. I've already done that here. Then we go ahead and get the SMB versions. It scans, pulls out the MAC address, if available, and shows the latency. Then it begins contacting the responding targets for the SMB versions that are supported. It's almost complete. I'm going to focus on just a couple of these. It's now complete. As you can see right here, this is an old Windows XP computer on this row. It only supports SMB version 1. It doesn't support anything newer than that. This right here is a Windows 10 computer and it has SMB version 1 turned off but it supports the other versions of SMB. This is also a Windows 10 computer and it supports SMB version 1 and so we've highlighted that in red but it also supports these others right here. Different types of operating systems of Windows will support higher levels but we do know that XP only supports this one lower level. These other devices do not support SMB at all. And so there's a timeout or a rejection. It depends on the device. I'm going to press set defaults and scan it again just for a demonstration of how it works. You can see it populating everything as we go. Now by changing the timeouts to a little bit longer we're able to see that these devices are actually actively rejecting our request for contact for SMB. You can see that here. This is actually an HP network printer. That's how the SMB scanner works in NetScan Tools Pro.